I'm here today to bring you part five in our series on planning and saving for college. We're addressing the six most common questions we hear from client families about as they plan to send their kids to school, including how much to save, where to save, whether there are tax breaks and how to invest your 529 college saving plan funds. Today we're going to answer a question we hear over and over again. Why shouldn't I just set up a joint bank account with my child? Well, the problem with this approach is that eventually your child becomes an adult and he or she could take that money and use it for anything. Hint, hint, not a good idea. A joint account only requires one signature for withdrawal. Even if you're sure little Johnny or Susie would never use that college money on a bright, shiny new sports car or a trip to Cancun with their friends, 529 plans take that temptation to blow that money on something other than school completely away. The beneficiary, your child, has no rights to access the funds and you can actually reclaim the money as the account owner and it's a safeguard to ensure your hard-earned savings are used exactly as you intended them to be used. We're down to the last part in our series, hitting the airwaves soon. Be sure to stay tuned and as always, if you found this video valuable or know someone who would, please share it today. Thanks for watching.